He's coming back. Eric is coming back. True love, they say, comes only once in a lifetime. What they don't tell you is that sometimes you wait a lifetime for love. Some said it contained gold, but I knew better. My uncle said it was cursed, but his mind was small. A locked trunk, he said, meant secrets. And those who had secrets could never find a home. I didn't know if what he said was true, but it was true enough for me. Something for the journey. I suppose I'll have no dinner. Don't let him take it from you. Not a word. Speak to no one, you understand? Father will be waiting. I'm sorry. Morgan, take care of her. You hear me? I've never really known a home. Ha! My father was often gone. My mother was a mystery. The trunk and I were companions, moved easily from place to place. Every time he left, my father told me that what he was leaving behind was the most precious thing in the world. Perhaps he spoke of me. They called him the Captain, the remnant of a title from a forgotten past. He'd given up the seas for the desert highways, or what some said was a delusional journey for lost Civil War gold. The gold had been entrusted to the care of my great-grandfather, a treasure meant for the glory of the South. When the war ended, Captain called it his inheritance. You'll be safe enough. He'll be here soon. Ha! treasure, but I would stay with the trunk. My father always came back to it and brought with him the bitter spoils of war. Men who were loyal to one thing only, the gold. Prodigious amount of blood for a man without a heart. Captain, you're alive. Shoot, <laughs> Alfred. They left the truck, but I don't see the journal. Captain, crossroads in Wizard's Me. It will be with my daughter. Bring it or burn it. Destroy it if you must. Mary, bring me my daughter. I will bring her. You swear it? I swear it.
car, though. To be left alone and lonely. Where's the girl? What are you doing? We must know that it's the captain's chest. Leave it. There will be time later. We need to find the girl. Now, Eric, I'm very sorry. But I'm afraid our paths must part here. Should have known you were no different than the others. Now stand aside. And if I don't, don't be foolish. but noble. You return to the captain as you promised. What's he looking for? I don't know. I thought we were alone. So did I. You thought we were alone or you were alone? Well, I knew I wasn't alone, but I thought we were alone. Him and you or you and me? But how can you and I be alone? He's here. But you said you thought you were alone. I never said that I was alone. How could I be alone? You're here. 
Who are you? Well, I can ask you the same question. Do you always answer a question with a question? I, I don't know. You don't know if you always answer a question with a question or you don't know who you are? I, of course I know who I am. I'm not simple. Well, I'm not sure about you. Wait! Where are you going? I can't leave yet. I have to find my father. Well, he can't be here. Do you know him? Do you know where he is? How would I know your father? Well, you said that he couldn't be here, and I thought maybe that... It doesn't mean anything. We're alone. Who's alone? Never mind. You are a very frustrating young man. Wait. I'm afraid I'm rather lost. Do you think you could help me? Of course. My name is... My name is Chris. Well, my name is... My name is... Nice. Fourteen ninety five for a no show. Sam, I'm leaving with or without you. I think maybe I'll walk back. Well, we can't just leave him alone out here. Just don't bring him home, because I'm not feeding any more of your strays. to look at. You know where I can find Rosemary Dalton? You just missed her. So is there another JT Swinton? Yes, ma'am. I'm JT Jr. And JT Sr.? He's my father. So why didn't he come out? He's dead. What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Um, look, I just got this letter, said that the old lady died, and she left this place to him. And now, I'm the only one left. I don't mean to run you out, but I'll probably never have a chance like this again. I'm going to sell it. Boy, you are gonna have to pay somebody just to take this place off your hands. <laughs> so what do we do with him? Doesn't seem like he wants to stay. I'm sure he just wants to go home. That's him? In the pink. <sighs> Ain't much to look at, is it? Why does everybody keep saying that? I'm gonna tell you like it is. You just don't look like you got $175,000 on you. It was JT Sr. we were after. We got JT Jr. I'm sorry we brought you out here for nothing. 
Henry says he could take you back to the crossroads, and there's a bus at 7.30. Won't be no trouble. Wait a minute. What, what about my ranch? You didn't tell him? Tell me what? Your Aunt Christine owes $175,000 in back taxes. If the taxes don't get paid... The law is giving us 30 days. And if we don't come up with the money, well, let's just say it's going to be a little crowded sleeping in the truck. No, I ain't got nothing to do with it. The property goes to foreclosure auction if somebody doesn't make the payment. And you were hoping my dad would come up with the money? They were just trying to save the ranch. How much is this place worth anyways? I mean, if we can clear $175,000, I can keep the rest, right? Well, strictly speaking, you don't really own the ranch. On account of Aunt Christine isn't dead yet. So, who sent out the letter saying I was dead? It wasn't a bad idea. Not if he had $175,000. Yeah, well, I'll be gone first thing in the morning. We could use the captain's goal. Sam Dalton, you got pig spit for brains. Come on, Christine, let's get you back to bed. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it don't exist. If we could find the chest. Sam, honey, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. Ain't nobody ever seen it. Come on, honey. I know where my room is. I was just trying to help. So where are you going? What does it matter? It doesn't. And I could be going anywhere. What difference does it make? I wondered what kind of person walks out on his only living relative. You've got to be kidding me. You lied to me to get me out here. And you wrote me a letter saying my aunt was dead. It could be true soon enough. That old buzzard, she's going to live till she's 100. You saw her on a good day. Some days it ain't so good. So you're still going to leave? Nothing to keep me here. What about the gold? What about it? What is it, some type of buried treasure or something? Yeah, something like that. And you really think it's real? Aunt Christine, we need his help. We gotta cut him in. Fine. How much? 50%. Done. A Aunt Christine, you already promised me 50%. And with your 50% and his, just don't add up. Let's find it first. We'll fight over it later. How much is there? Why should I give you a nickel? Because I'm your only living relative, that's why. And I haven't decided if I'm going to claim you yet. Fine. I'll just wait till you're dead. Yeah, and I'll give it all to charity. Look, ma'am, I didn't really ask to be a part of all this. Why are you here? you mean? You said, be careful, he's not what he seems. Who isn't what he seems? What were you looking at? Can you tell us? I don't remember. She's a loony tune. You coming or are you just going to stand there and yap? You're not actually going out there, are you? Are you always planning on being this difficult? Because if you are, I want a new partner. Sam, wait, whoa. I mean, she's crazy. You said so yourself. <sighs> Look, JT, I didn't want to say anything, but I have proof. You mean like actual, tangible, poke you in the eye proof? Actual, tangible, poke you in the eye proof. Well, let's see it. All right, go with me. Now I know I'm related to Hank Christine. How's that? We're both crazy. So what happens if we get lost? That's impossible. How come? All you have to do is keep rowing until you reach land. Then you start walking. You're bound to find someone within a week or two.
ever been here before? Lots of times. How many times is lots of times? Twice. There you go. Where I go? Pokey and the eye proof. It's a camp. What camp? The camp she was brought to when she came to the island. Oh, come on. That, this doesn't prove anything. I mean, this thing's been here for like a jillion years. It could be anyone's. It could be some old sheep herder's camp. Uh huh. And how would they get here? Who? The sheep. What sheep? You said it was an old sheep herder's cabin. How would he get the sheep here? It's an island. You know, you're not working very hard for your 50% of the fortune. You know, 50% of nothing is still nothing. So what are we looking for? It's some kind of clue. I'm gonna go see what I can find down here. Sam, I found something. Wow, a hinge. What do you think? What makes you think a hinge would be important? You need a real clue. What, like a treasure map? Map, a sign, something. What is it? Is this yours? Of course not. Maybe it belongs to your sheep herder. Maybe. Hey, what's this? I don't know. A box? What do you think this is? You think it's worth anything? Let's go. Where are we going? We gotta go show Aunt Christine! In her room, I'm sure. How do you like that key lamp pair? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Who's the ball? That's J.T. Swinton. He's Christine's nephew. Ah. So, what are y'all doing? Now, Sam, that's really not any of your business, is it? If it was, and it ain't, I would tell you I invited Turner over for a piece of my key lamp pie. You don't make pie. As I said, that's really not any of your business, now is it? Why don't you kids run outside and play? Delicious, man. It's a sextant. It's an instrument used to navigate the ocean. Why was it on the island? You found that on the island? Did you find the window? What window? The window in the rock. That's where Eric and I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. How can there be a window in a, in a rock? Who's Eric? And Christina, I think maybe you better start from the beginning. You gotta remember something. Where you came from. How long you've been here. Something. Your mother's name? What was your mother's name? Why would I remember my mother's name? I don't know. Did you have any pets? <laughs> oh! What? I just remembered Ferris Bolton. Who the devil is Ferris Bolton? He was a friend of mine. He lived on a farm across the valley. <sighs> One day he hit his head on a rock and he couldn't remember anything for two days. Well, what happened to him? He died. But. Just before he died, he remembered everything. His mind was jostled by a sound. What was it? One of his cows. He sprung up, said he was late for milking, fell over dead. Excellent. So that means I just need to find a cow from my childhood and I'll remember everything. Don't be ridiculous. You just need to jostle your brain. I'm afraid to ask how you propose to do that. Do you remember how you got here? Not a thing. 
Was it a boat? Did you come by boat? It's an island. How else would I have gotten here? Right. And then do you remember where your boat is? I have no boat. What do you mean you have no boat? You just said you came by boat. No, no, two days ago, I, I came upon Samuel's boat, carefully hidden. That's how I knew he was here. And I remember thinking that a boat would be useful since I didn't have one. Oh! Must you keep doing that? What is it? You remembered his name. Yes. It's Samuel. Samuel Taggart. Do you think this is a good idea? You've been watching him for days. It's obvious you know him. There must be some reason you haven't gone to him. Maybe. But if he knows something, I've got to find out what it is. There's something not right about this. Samuel? Eric! I must admit I had not expected to see you. You come for your share, I suppose. My share? You want it all, then. Well, you'll have to find it first, and I'll give it willingly. Samuel, I, I need your help. The journal? You'll not have it. The journal? I don't want the... You found it, haven't you? You beat me to it. We're now here to titter in my face. I, I need to talk to you, Samuel. Please, you have to listen to me. No. It's you who listen to me. Let's have it. What have you done with the gold? The gold? I have no gold. Samuel, please, you've got to believe me. I... I don't know what the game is, and we'll have no more of it. What, my food? The boat? What have you come for? This needn't be difficult. You bring me the money, and I'll split it with you as we agreed. Now, what will it be? Wait! Get back here! Gather your things. We can't stay here. Where will we go? Somewhere. Away from here. Eric. Eric. I think I have something that belongs to you. Is it helping? Not a whit. But you know who you are. Yes. I'm Eric Dubois. I was, or am, a soldier. A soldier of fortune, it would appear. And Samuel Taggart was my ally. Though no longer. But that, a letter to my captain, telling him I will join him at summer's end, does nothing to jostle this. There's one more thing I can tell you. The captain is my father. The captain, you say, was a man of honor? And yet this honorable man surrounds himself with what kind of men? Men who would kill each other over a bounty. You're not a killer. Perhaps I'm not now. But what was I? Where do you think he is? Looking for us. Watch for Taggart. not here. What do you mean? See for yourself. Chris? Chris? There.
I'll never find him. Will I? Fine specimen indeed. How much is it worth? I'll give you two hundred dollars for it. I could make that two and a quarter, but that's as high as I could go. What were you hoping for? One hundred and seventy-five. Oh, well, then what's thousand? Ah, I see. Well, you do have a bit of a problem then. We know. Thanks. We'll let you know if we decide to sell it. No problem. Glad to help. Hello, children. Did you have a nice trip into town? Girls, don't do this. Whatever it is, don't do it. I really haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Mom, tell me, please. I got a call today from Turner Desmond. Well, actually, it wasn't so much a call from him as it was me calling Turner. What did he want? He wants to buy the ranch. Well, that's great news. I thought no one was interested. He doesn't count, Mom. He doesn't want to buy the ranch. He wants something else. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. We could still live here and he'll live hmm, wherever it is he lives. Mom, marriage doesn't work that way. I don't get it. Ugh, Turner doesn't so much want to buy the ranch as he wants to marry Rose. If Rose decides to marry Turner, Rose will marry Turner. It certainly makes a sight more sense than a cocky mammy search for fool's gold. to tell you where my father is. And how do you propose we do that? Last time we spoke, he tried to kill me. What then? We've nothing left. The journal. What hope is the journal? It will lead us to the gold. I thought you were different. If we find the gold, perhaps we might trade it for information. About my father? And about me. this is the right place. I mean, he probably can't even read. Never underestimate Samuel Taggart. You'll do it only once. You remember something? <sighs> Nothing of substance. But how do we know this is the place? <laughs> We found something. Rather small for a captain's bounty. Wait. I feel prying eyes. Perhaps we should seek a more private place? Wait. I'm gonna go make sure we're alone. Don't touch it. I'll return shortly. You won't have what's mine. Leave it be, lad. Don't give me reason to really hurt you. What's this? Not a lad at all, but a lass. You're the daughter of the captain. You hid in the trunk. Yes! When my father finds you, he's gonna skin you like the skunk you are! Not likely that. 
What other surprises do you have for me? Where's the boy? Come now, where is he? He's gone. Gone to get a rifle. And then he's coming back for you. What does this mean? I have no idea. Don't play coy with me. What does it signify? It's my father's whistle. I know that. But why is it here? It's a whistle. I have no idea why it's here. Except it means that my father was here. No! I'll not be denied what's mine. The captain brought it against me. I'll not be lied to again. Let's have it. What have you done with the gold? It's enough that you know that I'll do what I have to. Now, where's the gold? Is he dead? Near enough. We should have known he would have been watching. You weren't ever in any real danger. You left me here for him to find. Chris, I'm sorry, but we had to have the journal. He would have killed me while you watched. It had to happen this way. Don't touch it. Sit. Chris, you're being unreasonable. Quiet! I'm thinking. Well, think quickly, lass. A little tighter, maybe? I'm a sailor's daughter. I know how to tie a knot. So is it Chris or Christine? Didn't see any point in telling you. Perhaps I wasn't. Can you walk? Yet, truly is a journal, though not of my father. What is this gold you search for? Why ask me? You know as well as I. Remind me. What addles your brain, boy? You've lost your memory. But you remembered my name. I remember small things inconsequential things. What happened to my father? I fear we failed him. We promised to deliver you safely. Hey. Bring me my daughter. I swear. Something comes to you? Just a notion. The captain. We can still make good on that promise. We can find the treasure and return the girl and the gold back to the good captain. You know where to find him? He'll be waiting for our return. You've trust the wrong man. Untie me and I'll help you find the treasure. I'll think on it. I'll be watching. Both of you. He bears watching. But we'll see if we can trust him. 
But if not, um, do you have your shovel handy? What am I looking for? You'll know it when you find it. I think I found it. I wish you had that journal. But I do. You have the captain's journal? It's the only thing I still have that belonged to my father. Sam, the journal's in that box over there on my dresser. Are you sure this is the right journal? There's nothing in here but stuff about the Civil War. It belonged to the captain's grandfather. Go to the back of the book. It's here. Now what we have to do is go back to the island and follow the map. Come on, what are you waiting for? Don't you think they've tried that already? We'll try again. Perhaps I overlooked something. Yeah, like the fact that there's nothing there. to leave without me? You untied him. I actually untied myself. I thought we could use a good breakfast before we go after the gold. What have you done with the journal? I believe it's under your bedroll where you put it. <clears throat> Didn't you wake me? You look tired. I thought you could use the rest. Well, you formed your cozy partnership. An alliance of sorts. I don't trust him. Nor I. But we need him. Captain called this his inheritance. Southern gold marked for the war, buried here by his grandfather to keep out of Union hands. The map was passed down from father to son. We know the captain was here. This has to be the right spot. The sketch is clear. We go through the window. Perhaps digging will jog your addled brain. We need water. I know. Our social calendar on hold. Aren't you headed off to a picnic? You know it's not a picnic. Mr. Desmond, can I be frank? No. no. Oh, Turner, I don't want to be rude, but the ranch is not for sale. Sam, why don't you and your friend run outside and play, huh? You're putting your nose where it don't belong. I thought you said the climate around here had changed. It has. Well, it don't hardly seem like it. It's gotten colder. Yeah. Respectfully, ma'am, I think you could do a whole lot better. Nobody's talking to you, boy. You know, Sam, I think you're right. The ranch isn't for sale. Well, who are you to be telling me what's for sale and what isn't? I'm a 50% owner, that's who I am. And I'm the other 50%. What are you talking about? That old delusional goat owns- 50%. That's 
And none of it's for sale. You got 150% of nothing. You know he's right. I'm a patient man. I can wait. But somebody is going to own this place, and it may just as well be me. I don't like being toyed with. I hope you're proud of yourselves, because there went our last chance. There's the window. That's got to be it. So where do we dig? You know, I'm not an experienced treasure hunter, but I'm pretty sure that's what the big X is for. about this all wrong. Oh, now this I've got to hear. No, I'm serious. Think about it. Sam, this gold was crucial to the war. I mean, what makes you think that they're going to draw up some map that's going to lead us right to it? It doesn't make any sense. It's like we're missing something. So, like, there's another map? I don't know. Where's everybody? I can't get them to answer the door. Maybe they just don't want to talk to you. What are you doing here? Did you have a good day? Because I did. <laughs> Henry, what is he talking about? Where's Rose and Christine? You can talk to us. I don't converse with children. Are my ears on backwards? Because I only hear you when you're going away. Henry, do you see the abuse I take? Yep, I see it. Why don't you go on out to the car? I'll take care of this. So what does he want? Well, if it goes like he plans, you've only got three days to come up with the money. Three days as in 72 hours? More like 46. How does three days equal up to 46 hours? Well, it was three days this morning. You got until Friday at 6 p.m., but today is shut. Today shouldn't count. We just found out. Why should today count? Sam. It's not fair. If we had the full three days, Sam. But what? What does it matter? Three days, three years? I'm never going to find that money. Can you take me to my father? I'm sure he'll tell you where the treasure is, and then we won't have to do all this digging. I'll not return to the captain without his gold. Did you leave a girl behind? Of course not. How can you be so sure? I just think that's something that I would remember. Why would you remember that when you remember so little? Samuel, can you tell me anything about my family? You rarely spoke much about your home. Well, come now, I must have said something. Perhaps there were some girls somewhere pining away. Yeah. There was one in Westbrook. And one in Roxbury. And another one in Abbott Village. <laughs> what is it? I'm not speaking to you. These numbers. What do they mean? Figures. 
Something from the war, I suppose. That makes a little sense. The journal was written in a different hand. The map was obviously added later. These numbers are part of the map, not the journal. That must mean something. Yes, but what? Something tickles my mind. We used to play a game with my father's sextant. We'd use it horizontally, not the way you normally read a sextant. And the map shows us where we begin. The number is the angle of the sextant arm. Line it up through the window. And it tells you what direction to go. That'd give you the line of travel. But we can't dig a trench from here to the bay. It could be anywhere along that line. It's just a game we played. Well, I think the captain's daughters just solved the mystery. An easy task for someone not occupied trying to remember which girl he left in which town. It's of little use. We've no sex in it. Samuel, can you take us back to the captain? Seem I have little choice in the matter. She's sleeping. Do you think we made her worse? I don't know. She says she's too old to go to the hospital. Sometimes when people get stubborn, they die. You're supposed to look through the window. I know, I know. What's the reading? Well, the first number is 16. 16 degrees. What do you see? Hold on, give me a minute. Something in that direction. How far? How do we know where to dig? I don't know. Let me see the map. What is that? Is that a five? It's a 55. Or is it two separate fives? Maybe. Five or 55. Feet, I guess. Or maybe the number of steps? Try them both. One, two, three, four, five. It's solid rock. Maybe they have bigger feet. We tried 55. hours. We're down to 19 hours, Murphy. Something like that. You didn't sell it to him, did you? No, child. We're not gonna sell the princess. He'll have to take it from us. afternoon. Would you really have married him? Yeah, I guess I would. You could come with us. Thank you. We're just heading out to the island one last time. I'm glad I didn't miss you. I intend to go with you. Are you sure? I mean, don't you want to just stay here and rest? Rest for what? I have eternity to rest. I have a hankering to see the island again. And you may be starting at the wrong boulder. 
And you may be senile. And you're probably on the wrong island. I gotta be on the wrong island. There's only one island. He's gone. He is no longer here. He's vanished. Where would he go? Eric? Eric, tell me you have the journal! You were sleeping on it. I know, but I took it out because it was too lumpy. And the pistol? Maybe he'll come back. I very much doubt we'll ever see him again. I knew we never should have trusted him. We should have tied him up again last night. He would have made a difference. Ah! He would have just untied it. He played us for fools. I know more than one knot. Yeah, then why did you pick the one that's easily untied? Because it hurts. Don't remind me never to make you angry. It's too late. <laughs> It's still here. It's still here. You said that already. I know what I said. It's just, why hasn't he left? And you could have abandoned us. Chris, would the captain have carried a sextant in his chest? It's possible. But the chest was destroyed. Samuel had the sextant all along. There's nothing to stop him from getting the gold. Chris, we can't leave him. Why? Gold means nothing to me. Eric, this is our chance. He's occupied elsewhere. We have the boat. Let's go now, please. Just you and me. I thought you were still angry with me. I'll have plenty of time to be angry at you later. Let's just go. Eric, don't leave me. You're left behind for your own good. It never seems to work out that way. Well, are you sure you want to be with a man who has a girl in every village? That's rubbish. How do you know? There aren't that many girls that could possibly stand to be around you. So if our relationship were to continue, can I always expect you to be this stubborn? Always. And you'll obey me in just such a manner as you've done since I've known you? in just such a manner. And I can expect you to follow me around incessantly just as you have these past days and nights. I'll never leave your side. And you desire such a relationship? With all my heart. But not yet. I'm still far too angry at you. How will we find him? At least we know where he has to begin. We're running out of time. I know. And we have about six hours left, and it'll take us an hour to get back down to the boat. We're not helping. And then it'll take us another two hours to row back, and then Sarah, I don't... shut up. 
Is this the place? Yes. How do we know how far? I mean, it's got to be one of these last figures here. Five something, five miles, five feet. That was my great-grandfather's final puzzle. What happened to Taggart? Isn't it possible that he found the gold? We searched for him, thinking that he might have left us stranded on the island, but he hadn't. We came back here no wiser than before. We had no sextant and no journal. Eric, what are we looking for? Rocks. There are rocks everywhere. An easy area to defend if someone should follow you. An escape route to the water. You toss it over the cliff into a waiting boat. keeps bringing you back. Samuel, I don't want the gold. Just let me help her. Stay put. I feel for the girl. But I didn't ask her to join us on this journey. For that matter, I didn't ask you either. You would have been better off with the captain. I swore an oath. From which I release you. The captain can no longer receive the girl. I'm sorry, lass. He died bravely. You killed him. He was already dead. I simply finished what others started. There is no pleasure in this. I would have preferred that you'd never joined us. Twice dead? How? What do you want from me? Why, Samuel? I don't have the money. You're welcome to it. Take, take everything. Why did you do it? You can't hurt me! You're an apparition! <laughs> ah! Eric, help me! I'm sorry, but you'll have to do this by yourself. I can't. Chris. Christine. Do you trust me? I want you to let go. You mean for me to... To die? No. It's not your time. If you let go, you'll soon find the water below. I'll go for help. How? Now you must trust me. Now let go. Will you come back for me? I shall fulfill my oath. I will come back for you. Now I must go. Strength.
So, you're saying he was a ghost? He swore an oath. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in Christine. Now what do we do? We only have... Shut up. Wait. Can I see your watch? Five. Five what? The journal had two fives. The first one has to be... five o'clock. Dig at five o'clock. But it's solid rock. I know, but this has to be right. I can feel it. But the second five... Hold on to me. What? Just hold on to me. What do you see? The second five. It's gotta be five feet down. Did you bring some rope? derive much pleasure from saying I told you so, but I told you so. Now I've never been more happy to be wrong in my life. There's just one more thing. I've decided to claim you after all. Will you stay? I'd like that. Besides, I gotta stick around and watch my 50%. Come on, we gotta get back to the ranch. Peaceful here. Come on, if we don't get this money back to the hotel in time, it's no good to us. I'm staying here. We really don't have time for this. Come on. It's okay. I have waited my whole life for this. Go. Go on. I'll be fine. I just slow you down. Okay. You stay here and just rest. And we'll be back later, I promise. Okay? Oh, wait. The journal. I don't want it left out here. Come on, come on, come on. We'll be back. Did we make it? What time is it? I don't know. I told you I left my watch on the island. I can someone please tell me what time it is? It's 5.30. What's he doing here? I heard there was going to be an auction. I came out to see if maybe he was selling anything. Quit stalling, Henry, and let's get on with it. You really have no claim until 6. Wait, what do you mean claim? He's not the bank. It's still got to go to auction. Tell her, Henry. Not that it's the business of a child. He bought the bank's interest. He owns the note. Can he do that? He can and did. I own this place. Not yet, you don't. Not till 6 o'clock. And ain't nobody doing nothing till then, eviction notice notwithstanding. And when you serve it, it may take me days to get out. And you'll go to jail. I'll do nothing you tell me to do. Nobody's going anywhere. Found the money. How much you got here? Well, we haven't had a chance to count it yet. What? What kind of money is this? 
Just old stuff. Money's money. They're Confederate bills. The captain called it his inheritance, but his grandfather hid it to keep it away from some Union soldiers. This stuff's no good. You can't pay with Confederate dollars. This stuff hasn't been good for over 100 years. What's he talking about? He may be right. Where'd you get this? Aunt Christine belonged to her father? Jefferson Davis, president of the Confederacy, is her father? Jefferson who? Why are you so worried about the journal? Is it worth something? It'd be worth more than something. If this journal can be authenticated, it could be worth... Well, it could uh, easily go for... How much? Two, uh, 300, 400,000 at auction. In cash, I give you 250, if you're interested. If we're interested? Oh, no, you don't. I need a check in my hand right now. Henry, tell them they can't do this. Authentication and a check. How long is this going to take? Well, in view of the circumstances, I, I could rush things along. I could put a check in 24 hours. Ah, that's too late. I need a check in my hand within five minutes, so this place belongs to me. Here you go, sir, $175,000. This check is no good. Henry, are you going to let him get away with this? Oh, it'll be good by the time the bank opens on Monday morning. Henry, do something. OK. <laughs> I'll, I'll sue you. I'll sue every one of you for every dollar you've got. I'll sue every one of you. You hear anything? I feel a breeze, but I can't hear anything. That's because our ears are on backwards. We only hear him when he's walking away. <laughs> Come on, let's go get Aunt Christine. Kids. I'm sorry. Your Aunt Christine died last night. What do you mean? She's out on the island. She was fine when we left her. Sam, honey, don't do this to yourself. She had a good life, and she's in a better place now. Tell them. Tell them, GT. Tell them she came with us. Tell them. She died sometime during the night. She's upstairs in her room, if you want to say goodbye. She gets what she wanted. She finally gets to go home. I would fulfill my oath. Is that the only reason you came back here? Well, isn't that reason enough? Whoa, hey, whoa, where are you going? The only reason you came back was to, to fulfill some silly oath. Is that all to... your mouth can do is chatter? Chatter? Where are we going? We're going home. The captain's expecting us. Mom has dinner with you. You never told me she was such a good girl. I 
and waited a lifetime for love. Some things are worth waiting for. What do you think? It's beautiful. Except for one thing. What do you mean, except for one thing? It's perfect. Not quite. <laughs> what do you mean, not quite? I'm telling you, it's perfect. If you say so. I say so. Except for one thing. What? You misspelled management. I did not. You did, you misspelled it. Well, if you're the genius, why'd you let me do it? I never said your lettering was bad. I just said you couldn't spell. Oh, and I suppose you could do better. What, lettering or spelling? <sighs> not my fault you can't make a good billboard. I can make a good billboard. Man, it's a simple word. Awesome. An E, not an A. Manigament? Manigament, that's what you spell. Manigament. I mean, if you wanted to pronounce it right, it'd be manigament. I mean, people get the So you're, 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 you're I you're mean, wrong. seriously. It's not my fault. You're stupid. But it's not they're going to think it's like something else. Did you go to school? Because I'm pretty sure that's the first word. Well, I'm probably Man. smarter than you anyway. Good night, Bob. Good night, Bob.